Hey gang, Joyce Welsh, Skippy Calves Farms here. Um, I wanted, to, I'm just setting up the poultry fence. It's coming in behind where the sheep just were. And I moved the sheep down. Um, the sheep were just here. And as you can see, I let them graze a little bit. Uh, leave a bit more along this end the first day that I had them out down there by the um, sheepfold you can see they took pretty much all the dark green stuff so I didn't want to make a pattern of that so um, I gave them three other patches along this run and then this morning, last night I set it up, and this morning I gave them the alley. And then there's a little bit of a gap here. That's where the poultry um, chicken tractor had come in. And then there was a little strip on the other side of the chicken tractor, right down here where um, you can see where the sheep are grazing now. And um, I'm going to be quiet here for a minute and just let you watch and listen to the sheep. Now, gang, I think, I think they're happy. Um, they're grazing on fresh, uh, fresh pasture. There's a variety of plants, and <laughs> the little ram lamb said, "Enough! I'm ready to just kind of start chewing my cud, but I'm not quite ready to give up eating." So, anyway, with that. Let me come back over here to another port. Uh, actually, what um, what got me started on this video is um, this area where the chickens had come through and the sheep had come through. You can see, um, let me see if I can keep my shadow out of your way. You can see here, you've got the sheep manure and right here, you've got something that I hadn't seen in all the years I'd been here until a couple of weeks after the sheep got here. Hint, this is a big key. This is dung beetle. This is dung beetle food, okay? You know, you, you remember the movie, Build It and They Will Come? Well, I'm just moving the poultry pen, and I'm going to try and do this respectfully. Um, so I'm just pivoting in place, and then just a few feet over, what do we have? We have another dung beetle and manure. Um, another three or four feet. We've got two more dung beetles. And that brown out spot right there um, is where it's been my observation that on my pastures where 
the sheep will urinate, sometimes they'll create a wilted spot. It may be because they don't drink a lot of water, their urine is a little bit more concentrated. Now, you'll also notice here on this manure, that's going to be from Big Mama. A lot of times, um, her manure is just a little bit looser, and so the raisin pellets stick together. Uh, whereas with the other two, it's not quite like that. These are the kinds of observations that are going to really help you set yourself apart from other producers. As you learn your land and you learn your animals, then this is the language of nature. She's talking to us. She's telling us we're doing the right things. And I've had chickens on this same pasture for three years and never seen a single dung beetle. And now here in just a few square feet, um, one, two, three, four, five. So can you do it with just plants? Yes. Can you do it with just poultry? Yes. But I've been able to accomplish in less than four to six weeks than I had been able to do in more than three years without the ruminants. They are that important to nature's ecosystem. Look at the Great Plains. Um, look at the, um, you know, the Great Plains of Africa and the wildebeest and the huge herds of all those animals over there that I can't even remember. Um, okay. Um, we've got to look at the whole thing, gang, because science tends to pull one thing out of context and focus in on it. And you got to keep everything in context because Mother Nature always deals with the whole thing. So we've got to tie everything back to the whole thing in order to get the right interpretation. So we can minimize our inputs, minimize our, um, our efforts, and maximize our outputs, our animal performance, and our profits. So with that, gang, I'm going to get back to work. And if you like, please like and subscribe. Uh, comments are all welcome, as long as they're civil. And as always, blessings for the day. And just keep chasing the dream.